In this lesson, we will talk about uh, making a pickable, pickable object. Mainly, we will design this uh, object and we will start to put code. To do this, you need to make a new scene. Go to drop down menu scene and start a new scene. A new scene start as a 2D scene. When you do this, in your uh, 2D scene, you need to uh, change object. So first node, change it to area 2D. So to area 2D. So you will have a node which is area 2D then download the resource make sprite and uh, for this sprite you need to put texture which are in resource so from a resource just put texture to the sprite after that add child node to your area 2d collision shape so i add a collision shape we will use collision shape 2d after that set the shape to circle and make shape something like this you can make shape to be as close as possible or you can make it to be a little bit wider as you like after that we will make some code and timer so your 2d scene is only this sprite check that your area 2d transform is position 0 0 your sprite also transform position 0 0 and collision shape transform 0 0 so everything put it to 0 0 then use it as one and children will not be selected after that add a script and start start working on uh, extents of node 2d so this will be of course this will be area 2d don't forget this and the text will be okay what you need to do you need uh, to declare three variable props one vector2 variable and one integer in process we will define which node is it this will be node of uh, sprite and we will translate this sprite in a vector2 we will influence only vector2 epsilon axis which mean vertical movement so 
you will write function process and the function on timer timeout will be start from timer so first you need to add a timer so add a child node set timer you need to add timer after adding the timer from this timer you can uh, set wait time to 1.5 auto start on and in a node click on timeout connect to your prop prop pickable area to the node click connect and you will get this uh, on timer timeout so this is important for now after that use if and vector2 variable if vector2 variable is negative speed will be positive speed else will be negative speed which means on every timeout your sprite will go up down and after that down up so sprite will change direction in a timer timeout which are signal and timer ti timeout is set to 1.5 you can also experiment with this from 1 to 3 after that you will be able to have movable props which is going up and down so uh, this props here is movable because he translate up and down like you see this up and down don't forget to set position to zero zero because we will use this in our main scene after that we will add one more function to our script for this fun function use no 2d on a node go to area 2d body entered so we need a signal when the body enter connect to same node so click connect and you will get this function on props pickable body entered you can also write this print command to see is it working now in a world window so in a your main scene when you go to your main scene just pick your scene you created so this is props pickable scene and put it into the into the your uh, into the your scene and you will have one props put it into the scene when you do like this you have seen separately created and you can enter it with a click on open in editor button so you can work on your scene also you can uh, go to to script of this props and you can put it in the main scene now you need to start your main scene in our case this is world scene so select it and start this scene to see is this props working up and down after initial time props will work up and down be aware you are working with uh, vector 2 you need to set it correctly 
in your script. After that, we can test here is body entered area 2D. As you see, body is entering area 2D. This is signal triggering when kinetic body entered into the space of area 2D which must have collision so you need to set collision as I say before and this is all for this lesson I will repeat you a little bit of this again so create new scene and inside this scene create all of object nodes script then use this scene from a file system put it inside your main scene first work on translate code which will work co correctly if you have vector2 variable and you use get node after that with the translate this will work add timer and with timer you will uh, first see if uh, vector epsilon variable is minus then he will be plus or else if it's plus will be minus so you will have vertical movement all of function need to be created except function process you can write it inside other function are signal so you need create it on timer from timer signal and on prop speakable body entered as a signal function created from your props pickable in newly created scene thank you for watching thank you for attention and see you in the next lesson